All right, guys, another match, one apiece so far. Let's see if we can get some more wins on the board. This is a really good hand. We get a turn one collector, although we could skip on the turn one collection in order to further empower a rogue father in the future. It might be worth it, actually. I think, like, missing a fairy to give something bigger more life is probably going to be worthwhile. So we'll, we'll go into the wood elemental. Next, that can start collecting for us. We can even go for a lake here. Get our lakes going. I could have went lake forest forest, but we have two wood elementals, I believe. Oh, we have wild adventure for sure. So if I need a taunt, I have that forest ready, if I need it. Looks like our opponent's going to go down the opposite side. Okay. See what color comes down. It's going to be another green into maybe a virgin force so it's gonna be an ancient beast master that's that card can be a problem if we let it get out of control so let's you know what we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive here since we have the earth craft and we're gonna pass so now we have an oak father coming down next turn which can go straight in on the orb so the, the opposite side land development, we're currently winning as far as aggression goes. And I can potentially set up a lake here or a lake here. Our opponent goes for double neutral defense, going into the Queen's Guard, which our Oak Father can, well, can challenge with punishment, helping it out. The Ancient Beastmaster getting a good proc there. And we see no mountain, so Gift of Steel is not going to be an, a problem. Eldred Embrace could be a bit of an issue. See, I'll score. Overgrown Tower. Lots of power ups. So this can go up to a 6 9. And our guy is going to be a 6 9 if we develop another forest. I think it's time to wait and go for the Frogify on the follow up. This, this might just cover my forest, which is fine. No, oh, it's going to be a bit more aggressive here. Not respecting the Frogify. This is like an answer to this. Might be. We'll, we'll see. It's going to be a lake coming down. Oh. That could be a problem. We have two problems the Frogify now. I'm expecting that. But I think I should just stick with what I was doing. Get the Frogify down. Take care of this guy and go into the Oak Daddy. Now a big green creature could come down, depending on what was found. I'm hoping something like Tarim was picked up. The lower cost a creature is from uh, Runin's presence, generally the better it is. That's what I've found in the past. That's a big, big Grove Guardian. That's a massive Grove Guardian. Humbling Visions is going to actually put it within kill range, which is quite nice for me. I should probably take care of this now. I can use the... Uh, the uh, still I, wanna, I think I want to protect the life on my Oak Father, so I'm going to go for the, uh, the punishment here. Not the punishment, the safeguard, sorry. Instead of going for, say, the punishment where my Oak Father takes a bit more damage. Because if we keep the life of this quite healthy, our Apex Predator gets better if we pick it up. So Lake into double collection. We can move up to a more aggressive position next turn. Depending on what I draw, I might set up a cheeky forest here. This moves up to double collect, I double neutral, and I can dash across. The Pandora is getting closer and closer, and I did just pick up an aggressive Mystic Beast, so I'm going to go for that instead. So now we represent 10 damage going into the next turn, so this is a two-turn clock. I'm a, little I'm a little afraid of what else could come down. This Beastmaster's gotten some great value so far. But I don't really want to chase it across the other side of the board, I'm not really interested. That could be an Apex Predator. Oh, it's just going to be an Oak Daddy. A 
very interesting position there. I guess it still has coverage on the Mystic Beast. Ah, I see. Fair enough. Ho ho ho. I like that. This is 10, 12. I can bump this life up with the Tiki Piper. And plus one and just pass. So I'm basically saying, actually, I'm just going to make it awkward for you to kill any of my creatures. And then I'm going to copy this with the Apex Predator. I'm hoping this actually takes some more power-ups. It might just sit here and taunt these both up because they both don't kill it. I got a pre hit it eat as well, I guess, but then he could have just finished it off and still had six life remaining. Actually, that would have lined up perfectly. Maybe I should have just went for the pre-hit. Goes for a pre-hit, collects, maybe empowers this. Probably not actually, because these guys just run into him and kill it. We'll see what comes down. Another Oak Father. Interesting. So we're gonna just copy this one instead. Battle of the Oak Fathers. You can see why this card is rated so high on my tier list. It's just like a big threat, which can be quite hard to deal with in Pandora just because, of course, our decks are quite random when it comes to draft, so there's no guaranteed removal that can line up. Now this collects. love to be able to hit and punishment and I think I might just do that and just move this back into a more defensive position let's take some Feria because we, we get to keep our 4-9 we, we take the Feria so our, so our opponent doesn't have a higher chance of opening Pandora and the next turn we can go into, we can start drawing, we can draw a card and hopefully crack Pandora open, go into a big Apex Predator. And then cross our fingers our opponent doesn't have an answer for it. This moves down. If we pick up Frog of Fire in a good spot. I might move here, make an aggressive, make a land here, and play Apex Predator in this spot so it can jump over and kill this Beastmaster so he doesn't get any more value. Maybe I should have prioritized killing this a little earlier. I just didn't want to switch sides. It's very adamant to play playing aggressively, but I didn't expect the creation into Oak Father. I was kind of hoping that the Beastmaster didn't have that many targets. Maybe a Grove Guardian? We've already seen a Grove Guardian, but that was from Presence. Gonna be a shift in Octopus. And we can kill it. Feels good. Now we can't. He gave it a power up. We get Pandora. So Hammer is a nice option here. If I can just hammer this, run the one damage in, jump across, make a land, play Apex Predator. Oh, I drew a card because I'm an idiot. All right, so we're just going to play an Apex Predator here instead. Which is enough to challenge the Oak Father. 
Why, why did I draw a card? Uh, I was I got greedy there. That was just kind of like a bad habit. Maybe it's... No, I drew the War Elemental. I shouldn't have drawn a card then. That was just a mistake. I wanted to play Apex Predator here so we could jump across and kill this. It's a shame I don't have any land manipulation. So I can like move a land and then like double neutral across. Another Beastmaster! Oh no. I need to get over there, guys. <laughs> I might just double neutral here and jump these two characters here, just to just to try and stop these two beastmasters from going off. It's plus three with the overgrown town. I can turn any little creature into a real threat. I also represent 10 damage now uh, on the orb. Might be a little afraid of that. I should have set this up a little earlier. I'm, 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 I'm sad I didn't. I didn't get the Apex Predator here because I could have cleared one of these now. And I could have cleared another. So I would have only got one trigger. Uh, if a creature with more than five life gets summoned. Oh, okay. It's a might give one of these plus one plus one with the overgrown tower to stop me from killing it with the the beast I'm gonna use the apex predator to kill this and then I'm gonna jump over and clear one of these with the beast unless a taunt comes down yeah that's sad jump across hit Crystal Dragon. Leaping Fugu. That's a, that's a really good pickup. So I can kill this. Jump down and kill this to stay out of reach of the Oak Father. Then I can just set up a Crystal Dragon here. Maybe even take uh, a land here and play the Leaping Fugu. Or I could use the Elemental. So I actually have a draw. Storyteller. Okay. Jump over. That's four... Could storyteller first. Oh, I'm gonna Fuga, right? So that's ten. Could storyteller first. But I, I'm not. I'm not using the cards I've drawn, so there's no point in storytelling. I, I have a plan, so let's let's stick to it. So this can go to the orb, this can start fighting the, the ancient beastmaster. If this guy comes down and clears my beast, I might just use the crystal dragon to finish this off. And then my apex predator is able to roam freely. I may even just play aggressively, going for 6 damage and set up a wild avenger to lock in this. And then I can use the combination of the Wild Avenger to War or Elemental to finish it off and then continue to push another 6 damage on the follow-up. Uh, which means it's like Leaping Fugu could jump here and then clear this Ancient Beastmaster. And then Leaping Fugu has an opportunity to push damage as well. So a, a draw was taken which means there's going to be no blocking at least from the Oak Father. So yeah, I could like, I could, depending on what comes down, let's just say nothing non, let's say non-threatening comes down. I can jump over, clear this Beastmaster. I can move up, hit for six. I can then jump my Apex Predator here, then use my Wild Avenger to taunt up the rest of the Oak Father. Unless I pick up Hammer, because then I can just use the Water Elemental plus Hammer. And then I'm potentially setting up a lethal 
on the following turn. No, I have time. I have time! <laughs> Wait, he's gonna swallow it? That's kind of strange. Cause now I'm just gonna ignore it. Should have drawn. Now we're just going in. What's that with forest? So the bottle lightning hits this and clears, but this will live and this will live. So I can potentially, and I still have my apex predator. And he balloon fished this guy, which is really strange because what's this gonna do? He basically removed a seven six from the board. Which could have, which was a threat. I was gonna have to use a Wild Avenger to to protect it, but now I don't even need to do that. Now I can just go in. Oh, he has a hammer. Man, Apex Predator's been really good. Where, where did I rate Apex Predator? Because I might actually change. I think I'm gonna move Apex Predator across to good, because it's it's just been such a solid card. So I, I, I'm actually adjusting my tier list as I continue to play, because I can't I can't speak highly enough of Apex oh of Apex Predator so far. But there's another victory for us, so we're now two one. Things are going good. Let's get into the next match. All right, guys, into another match. Let's see how we do. Wood Elemental Dewa Grizzly is pretty good. Let me get those forests. So yeah, we can just. Throw away the storyteller, get a storyteller back. We don't want these yet. We want these we want to draw these later on. Oh, am I getting smoked? No, nope, I'm not getting smoked. There was a possibility. Our opponent's actually gonna split off. Which is fair. So I'm just gonna go for the wood elemental path again. And then we're going to slot a Deepwood Grizzly in here. I might collect off this wall actually with a Spirit of Rebirth, depending on what happens. I'm going to go through a mountain, so it's green, red currently. It could be other colours, you never know with Pandora. I've seen players go try and quad colour in the past. We want to go into the wells, we want to make sure that we can contest this spot here for future axe grinders but also it gives us a good way to rebuild our board into the wells in the future in case we lose it it's gonna give us this spot though oh father again this guy he just just can't get rid of him that's why he's so good is that an overgrown tower that's a ruining shrine okay into a tiki caretaker so big father he's a he's a he's a he's a big daddy I'm going to use this to protect our Grizzly for a turn. Triton Banquet. Get Banquet over. Pre-hit this, taunt up. Play an aggressive lake. Sure. Oh, we're going to have... We're going to have a very strong... <laughs> Now we're just gonna take a lake here. We're gonna have a very strong Deepwood Grizzly. If we pick up, oh, so well, he's a very strong Deepwood Grizzly, but we're gonna have a very strong Storyteller, or maybe Triton Diver, depending on what happens. Campfire, punished. Oh, this Diver, he's going in. Oh, there's a big diver. There's a boar. Not really interested in that. Collecting's a bit dangerous. 
I think we just leak. Take the uh, Triton here to start jumping up and influencing the Tiki Caretaker. This might actually get a double neutral to come down just to stop the Diver from going too crazy. This is gonna this is gonna inevitably meet its fate at the hands of the Oak Father. So I will collect next turn. Wood Elemental, not a good draw. I think I will take a draw here. Not a good draw either. Look at that Oak Father, just, just really causing problems for us. I think I have to go for like no value boar. Oh no, I can play, I can play the Sturdy Shell first. And then get the boar onto this mountain, just so when the Spirit of Rebirth does die, I have an opportunity at least to try and finish this off. Now, Shadow Pandora getting picked up on my opponent's turn is quite useful for me if I don't draw the last shard or he doesn't draw the last shard. Because then I can double collect into Storyteller. Maybe even try collect with this boar. I'll have to see. I'm drafting more Oak Fathers next time. I actually gave up on an Oak Father. Uh, I hadn't used them that much beforehand, so definitely considering the Oak Father. Oh, the grappling hook. Nice. I like it. Gonna move over as well. Challenge my Sturdy Shell. Nice use of the grappling hook there. Ah, see, I missed the collection. Didn't want that to happen. It's gonna be a Crystal Dragon. So I can take care of this. Or I just draw again, to be honest. Or I can just plus one into wood elemental, but don't see much point. It's not bad. Yeah, just chill here. I can summon this here actually to kill the shrine. Gain a bit more Faria. Oh, the Battler. That's not what I want to see. My own Oak Father. Take a draw. Apex Predator. Okay. I think I am going to Storytell here. Because then I can use the Storytell on the Punishment. I can't Apex then. Moves us here just so he can't build it. He has to clear it before he can build land. Then we pass. So I'm going to start trying to race with this. If this decides to race, the crystal, the crystal dragon is free to do what it wants. It could just move here and clear and set potential six damage on the follow up. It's not looking good for me, guys. It's, it's looking pretty bad. Goes for the six damage. Okay. Into crack form beast. I've seen a lot of crack form beasts during this uh, run. So Frogify is my savior right now. Gonna move across, take the clear, and then eight damage just between these two. Very dangerous. Earth Fire Shaker and Safeguard. Not the cards we need. Frogify found, very nice. So I can Frogify this in clear. Can jump over here. Take the additional Feria. I go up to 10. Four leaves me with six. Let me just taunt up this. Set up for the, the Earth Fire Shaker on the follow up. Yeah. Frogify this. Clear. And I can go into an aggressive Oak Father. 
If this gets ignored, <laughs> 13 Fairy, a lot of cards, I, I doubt it will be, but let's say this gets ignored and this gets to do what it wants again. I can finish this off with the Earthfire Shaker and I can use the, uh, the Crystal Dragon. Oh, that hurts. Ah, man. Hammer Earth Fire Shaker. Seems familiar. So I can Earth Fire Shaker this into Punishment. And that actually protects me. I can even play this aggressively. So I can do this first, plus one. That sets up lethal with the Apex Predator. I just gotta hope that our, my opponent has no damage from hand. So Flame Burst is pretty good here. Oh, gains the five life. Draws a card. Imperial Guard. Oh my gosh, all, all this all this life gain. Firebomb clear. Okay. So I think I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that my opponent doesn't draw any damage from hand. Hit plus one into the Oak Farber. So I'm actually one off lethal here. We'll find a new treasure. I found the hammer. So he's used his hammer and he's used his earth fire. What else could deal damage? Jeweled magpie would kill me, potentially, if it found the right treasure. So Frogify, which I've already used the one of, plus one. So I can throw my hammer at this and just push damage. What could I draw? I could go Storyteller the Storyteller to not get killed by the hammer, but then my opponent draws cards too, and then it's probably more likely I'm going to die. So I think I just throw the hammer at this hip face. Pass. I can draw, I suppose. T Piper. Okay. Hammer this. Helps against Hellfire, I suppose. I don't know. I I I think I'm gonna lose the hammer anyway here. Sixteen cards. I don't know. The, the chances are quite slim. Oh my goodness! The life gain and the card draw. I think I've won, please. <laughs> Ouch. Firebomb. Oh, maybe I should have safeguarded this. That was a misplay from me. I, I got it. I got it. Wow, that was that was pretty intense. I did not expect to win that one. Oh my goodness. I just felt like I was gonna get hit by that free damage at any moment, but I managed to do it. You know, the Earth Fire Shaker, you know, Apex Predator once again, being absolutely fantastic. I, I've moved it up on my tier list already. I've been incredibly impressed with Apex Predator so far. So yeah, that is gonna wrap up this section of my first journey into Pandora. I've got four games for you guys to watch. Tune into part two to find out how I do in the rest of the Pandora run. I'm aiming for nine win, guys. I want those nine wins and get those more Pandora, get more Pandora points. I'm 103 at the moment, so I'm not even on the leaderboard. But I feel after this, uh, after this run, I'm gonna make my way into my onto the leaderboard and make my way up into the ranks. All right, guys, another match. Let's see how this one goes. We have a War Yak, which can be played as a turn one, a turn two collector. Actually, we're playing first, and these two are our late game cards, so we can throw them away. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good so far. I'm going to start off a lake here, go into the forest, go into the war yak, and then I have a bit of flexibility of what direction I want to go into when going up the side of the wells.
I haven't played against any Rush yet, interestingly enough. Oh wow, that's a fantastic pickup. This is just going to let us accelerate our land a little quicker. And so we have Frogify next turn if we need it. I doubt we will. Uh, but it's just great to have that available and then go into the Elderwood Brace in the follow-up. So if I don't need the Frogify now, I can take the forest above my lake and then take the lake here. And that gives me my Mystic Beast spot. And it's another H to Beastmaster. Oh man, these are causing trouble for me the other game. I think I might have to just respect this and go maybe for double neutral into the Warjack to challenge it because oh man I mean yeah I would like to just maybe double maybe I just double neutral and play an aggressive Warjack you know what, I'm just going to do that instead. You know, I'm going to ignore... I, this is what I did last time with the Oak Father, but I've already had a load of Oak Fathers too. Uh, but it did kind of work out for me in the end when I got the Apex Predator. See what our opponent gets up to. Maybe another forest. I actually think this card's pretty decent. What did I rate it as on my tier list? It is a common. Yeah, I've got it as. I think it's decent. It's, it's at average right now. Which is decent. Oh, the. See, look at the value. Too much value. For my liking. So we get to move up. Elderwood Embrace. Take care of this. And then we can jump into a more aggressive position. Move into potentially Frogify a big target that comes down. And this gets a uh, plus two attack once my opponent gets lower life. So we'll see about... It's going to be a Hermit. Alright, so we're going to crack the Hermit and then we're going to Frogify the next problem. Actually, we're not going to frogify it at all. We're just going to clear this. Take, take an aggressive forest here for our oak father. Make this a seven for it. Then we could even be a little cheeky. Just make it a seven seven. Value, we just made a Verdran Force. Build, build your own Verdran Force. Or Wave Crash Colossus. And that's just going to be a concede right there. Feels good, guys. It seems like if you can build your own 7-7, seven, seven, you're going to just win the game. So, fantastic performance so far from this deck. We had a bit of a shaky start in the first part. Uh, but, yeah, we're doing good now. We've we got a bit of momentum going. Let's see if we can keep it up.